I'm Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ross Mack, and I'm from the south side of Chicago. I worked hard, went to a fancy school, even did my time on Wall Street. But the more I learned, I realized a lot of people that grew up the way I did didn't necessarily have the same access to information. And that's why I'm here today, answering questions from college students that I wish I knew when I was their age. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, how Hello. are you? Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to I'm meet good. You. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Rania. So I was wondering, um, what is a credit score? What is a credit score? I want you to look at it like a report card that you're going to have and going to carry effectively the rest of your life that's going to determine what's the likelihood that you're going to be willing to actually pay back someone that loans you money in a timely fashion. There are five things that make up your credit score. It's gonna be the length of your credit history, you know, actually paying back your bills on time, mm -hmm. your credit utilization, new credit and credit mix. And all What's those- credit mix? What credit mix is, is banks, they wanna see that you have different forms of credit. So if you only have credit cards, yeah. they wanna see something else, right? They wanna see, do you have an auto loan? Do you have a home loan, okay. right? Do you have longer different loans? And credit utilization is ensuring that, sure, you're able to get a $10,000 dollar credit card, but they actually don't want to see that you charge $10,000, right? In fact, they yeah. actually only want you to charge up to 30% of that. So that $10,000 credit card only charge up to 3K. And is it true that it goes down every time you check it? The answer is absolutely not. Experian is one of the big credit bureaus, and that's actually where I go and I check my credit score. So I have the app on my phone. Anytime you are borrowing money, at the end of the month, every person you borrow money, they actually report to these different credit bureaus, and Experian is one of them. What you're talking about, the differences between a hard inquiry and a soft inquiry. So a soft inquiry is what checking your credit score is. It will not impact your overall credit score. And then like a hard inquiry, on the other hand, is say for instance, you actually try to get new credit, meaning you just applied either for an auto loan, a new credit card, or even quite often say you're shopping at a department store and they say, hey, you want a 20% discount? How about get this store credit card? Yeah. That's a yeah. trick. Instantly, really? right oh. there, that is going to be a hard inquiry. And so, when you have a hard inquiry, what that is doing is showing, hey, this person needs credit. Uh. And at that time, that gives you a little momentary hit to your overall credit score. Well, I hope our answers helped you. In some Thank way. you so much. It really did. It helped me build a little more of a foundation yeah. for credit scores and all of that. I'm so. wishing you an 850 credit score. Oh. Perfect. That's the <laughs> Perfect. I know that part. I knew about like what a credit score was kind of, but like I didn't really know the depths of how it went into. As much as like I did know just like a little background info, I didn't really know any tips about like credit cards and like store credit cards. Ross mentioned that like when you go to a store and they say, oh, do you want to sign up for like our store credit card for like 20% off? He was like, you probably wouldn't want to do that just because at the end of the day, like, um, I think he was saying that like it would conflict with like your credit card, like your credit score originally. So like maybe try to stay away from that, from like getting a store credit card. But I also learned that the highest credit um, score you could get was 850, which was great. So that was good to know what the highest could be. And it was also good to know that um, your credit score doesn't go down every time you check it. Because when I was asking that question at first, I was genuinely curious because I just was wondering if it did because that didn't sound too good. But no, Ross was letting me know that it's not true and you can check your credit score without it going down every time. Be sure to subscribe to Million Stories.